Did you know there is a Michigan accent? I'm the author of an article on the Michigan accent and so many Michiganders related to it that it actually went viral from people sharing it on social media. I have a very light accent, but my mother's is very thick. It sounds a little bit like a mixture of the accents from Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Ontario up in Canada. Here are some examples of Michigan's pronunciations and slang words. Instead of saying Kroger or Meyer, sometimes we say Kroger's or Meyer's. This is probably from ownership. For example, you have Ford who owned Ford Motor Vehicles, so we would refer to it as Ford's. And Mr. Meyer owned Thrifty Acres, so we refer to it as Meyer's. One big aspect I found about the Michigan accent is that it seems like we like to save time to make things easier to say. Sometimes we'll shorten words to make it kind of smash together into one smaller word, or we'll actually make a word longer by inserting vowels to get over awkward bits. For example, we would say realtor instead of realtor. To me, it's very hard to say realtor. It's realtor. Again, with nuclear, it's nuclear. It sounds really odd to someone not from Michigan, but nuclear is, I guess, easier for Michiganders to say. I'm not really sure why that is. As I said before, we will shorten words to make them easier. I hear mirror a lot. Uh, you'll look in the mirror instead of the mirror. Perhaps this is related to the fact that the word rural is difficult to say, so mirror might be difficult to say, so people just shorten it to mirror. One word that seems to annoy a lot of people outside of Michigan and some people in Michigan is milk. And this actually comes from Dutch. Surprisingly, Michigan has the largest Dutch population in the United States. And in Dutch, you say milk and not milk. And that's where this comes from in the Michigan accent. Sometimes we'll go to the store instead of to the store, go to the store, go to the store. We used to have a lot of jobs in Detroit. And sometimes we'll say er instead of or like this or that. We drink pop and not soda. This is actually becoming less common. More people are starting to say soda and the word pop is gradually dying out. There are a lot of other ways that we pronounce things in Michigan, especially embedded in our vowel sounds. Instead of mom, it would be mom. Or instead of pop, it would be pop. For more examples on that, check out the article in the description box below. I hope this little tutorial on the Michigan accent was helpful or at least interesting. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe for more language videos. Thank you so much for watching.